All right, what is up? Well, guess what? It's gonna be a quick little video, guys. If you got about 10 minutes of your day, hang out, chill with us today, because we are here in Orlando at ICAST. This is the annual trade show that we do, where all the vendors come, all the new products, new stuff. We hang out at the booth, we talk business, and uh, it's a lot of fun. So I'm gonna just bring you guys along on a little quick little trip. We're gonna walk around, check out some cool stuff, and um, show you some neat things. There are some new baits coming. There's some new technology at Garmin. There's a couple of new little things right there. So anyways, about a 10 minute video. Hang out with us for a little bit. Hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for all the support. Let's jump into it. So I'm checking out some new colors here. Look at that pearl, little little orange belly right there. And I'm not sure that's a brand new color, but it's one that I don't have, that's for sure. That's pretty cool. Like the Guggen Squad lures are, are really good. Caught a lot of fish this year on the, on the uh, Grand Recon, which is good. Good hooks, of course. Throws good, most importantly. And then who remembers the tarpon, right? The tarpon show we did and the peacock bass show we did. Remember that? This thing right here got munched on. So this is a brand new, Chatterbait vibrating jig trailer. Really, anything you can put on a swim jig too. But look at this. All these ribs, right? All those ribs are moving water. They're leaving a nice signature on the water. But here's the important part, okay? Flexibility, right? Okay, look. All the way that way, all the way that way. Moves in so many different directions. So, um, legit, okay? Legit, right? And of course, they have all the other things. You've seen us throw, you've seen us catch them on the lizard. They have a tube over here as well, which I have not thrown that, and I wish I had that at the last tournament because I probably could have caught a few extra fish. Uh, they have a uh, basically a grub right there, a double tail grub. It's gonna be great for like football jigs, swim jigs, etc. There's always something new, right? Always something new. So excited about that for sure. All right, so now we're gonna check out a really cool booth here, Bahio. Okay. Bahio is uh, obviously the sunglasses that I'm wearing. Good stuff. And what I love about um, Bahio, not only the frames, the lenses, all the cool stuff, but they have so many different cool lenses, cool frames. They also have some awesome clothing. Check this out, guys. Check out. So, so they have this this artwork, this really cool artwork on their shirts and their hats, and this stuff's flying off the shelf. So. The Heo sunglasses, it's not only just sunglasses, but it's a whole brand. It's pretty cool stuff, guys. So if you want some really unique t-shirts, I mean, this thing right here, the crab stuff is going crazy. They've got all kind of cool stuff. The guys here are doing an awesome job. Uh, of course, unbelievable glasses here. Come here, I'll show you some of them. So the other thing is, the is growing like crazy. Been out about a year and a half now. 700 shops have got the Bahio brands in their stores, uh, which is awesome. So you guys can find these all around the country, but you can also go to Bahio's website and check them out. And uh, lots of different frames, women's and men's, of course. Uh, amber lenses, gray lenses, everything above. Anyways, Bahio, awesome stuff. Nothing really new other than some cool new frames. So I just encourage you guys, if you get a chance, try them on, see what fits you, check them out. All right, so this is good, okay. So we just got back from St. Lawrence and they had sent me this line not too long ago and I used it this St. Lawrence. Totally blew me away. I was just impressed, super impressed. So this is the Spinex fluorocarbon leader. So when I'm fishing smallmouth, I'm using the Spinex braid. You see me use the yellow braid all the time as well. But this is seven pound, this is nine pound, and they have five pound, which I haven't thrown the five pound yet. But here's what's impressive about it, okay? The seven pound is thinner than six. The nine is thinner than eight. Yet you have the strength of nine. So it's just it's just good. like finesse fishing. You're trying to get as small a diameter as you can to get those extra bites. And you obviously making sure that the line is strong. This right here, guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, 100%, I don't care. Just, just check this stuff out. You will like it a lot. This right here. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, guys, so this Bass Mafia is really kind of taking things in a whole new direction, which is awesome. Of course, they have the boxes, but they have everything now. They have Crappy Mafia. Of course, you've seen me use these for all my line, which is great. But Bass Mafia now is jumping into the lure category. Chris Saldane is doing an amazing job here. So, look, look, me and Chris hang out on tour a lot. I know a little bit about what's been going on in this thing. I haven't thrown it yet, 
but all people, just everybody's been talking about it that's thrown it, just said it's amazing. So, um, he, he knows swim baits, right? So, give this thing a shot. It's going to be awesome. Cannot wait. Looks like you can rig it, obviously, with weighted hooks and everything. So, I mean, dude, that's awesome. So, I'll just go check it out. I'm sure it's going to be available here any minute now. But the uh, dangerous, Zal dangerous, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so, so far, man, this has been a great show. Lots of enthusiasm, lots of cool stuff. You know, we've, we've seen uh, some good baits here. The swim bait, actually, at the Guggen deal, the Bass Mafia thing, is pretty legit, guys. But we're here at the AFCO booth. There is uh, finally, finally something new. Something I've been asking for for quite a while. Let me show you what it is. Check these out, guys, right here. Flippy flops and some boat shoes. These are the two things I've been asking for. I called Casey like five years ago, I sure was. And we need flip flops, guys, because you know me, I like my flip flops. So we finally have flip flops, and I will give you a little sneak peek information. We're working on a little special pair of flip flops. Yes, we are. Okay. Those are not available yet, but they will be soon. Now, boat shoes, obviously, hottest thing out there right now. But AFCO has been working on yesterday. Why haven't AF why hasn't AFCO got into the boat shoe before? Because they've been working on this thing diligently. So there's so many cool things with this, the way they've been, the traction, of course, comfort durability, all the things you know that you want in a good boat shoe, AFCO has got it figured out. So now they've expanded the line in the footwear. Yeah. All right, so they have bags now too, which is crazy cool. Uh, this is a nice, I mean, this is a size bag I use a lot when I travel. So that's gonna be great for the airplane. And they also have tackle bags as well. So you have all your tackle bags here. These tackle bags here, you can put all your, your tackle boxes in. So, the, you know, AFCO's just really expanded the whole line. I mean, from clothing to, to all your saltwater gear, boots now, flip-flops, gear, and then check this thing out over here. So this right here, which they've had for a while, but check this out. I need this for offshore fishing. So if you guys offshore fish, you need to catch a big tuna, you catch a big swordfish, you're like, oh my gosh, it doesn't fit in the fish box sometimes. These bags are a must have. So if you're after a very valuable fish or a very good fish to eat, like a swordfish or a tuna, you need one of these bags in your boat because if you catch one and you're 100 miles offshore, you know, where are you gonna put it? So you can put it in the bag, put ice in the bag, keeps everything good and fresh. Now, the knives, you've seen us filleting a bunch of fish Thank with you. knives. Thank you. AFCO has knives now. So, I mean like, AFCO, American Fishing Tackle Company. Yeah, they're, they're, dude, they're hitting it out of the park. Good stuff. All right guys, so we're here at the Lithium Pro battery booth and uh, I've been running the Lithium Pro batteries, I feel like forever now literally since Kevin started this thing. He's done such a fantastic job, but each year he comes out with newer technology. He's kind of staying ahead of the curve. And look, there's lots of choices out there in the lithium battery market, but they're not all created equal. And trust me, they're not all created equal. Kevin has done a fantastic job, made right there in Knoxville, Tennessee. He understands everything. I'm using them and a whole bunch of other pros are using them and they are a difference maker. But I want to show you some stuff that I'm super excited about, okay? Information is key in bass fishing, right? So, as a bass fisherman, we're constantly thinking like, did my batteries charge up? How much time can I run my trolling motor if I'm sight fishing? All these different factors. And when I'm on my big boat, the Freeman, we go to the sandbar, I'm sitting there thinking like, can, can I run my stereo? And I'm not sure if I run my stereo too long, everything dies. All that information that I had no idea what was gonna happen, now is all on my screen because Kevin and Lithium Pros have decided to hook these batteries up. These are smart batteries now. On top of this thing is a computer with laboratory grade information right here, guys. And what I mean by that is it's NEMA 2000, okay? It's hitting Bluetooth where you're getting variable information all the time. NEMA 2000 hooked right into the battery, hooked right into your graphs. So if you run a Lowrance, you run a Garmin like I do, Hummingbirds, they work all across the board. Now let me show you why this is so cool. Okay, so let's look at this graph right here. Here's the screen, and this is actually hooked up to the cranking battery, and it tells you how much load is going on that battery right now. So if I have all my graphs on, I have my live oils on, all this stuff, it's telling me my load. And it's also, here's the most important information, really the only information I need. It tells me at the current load, I can run at this current load 116 hours. 116 hours. Okay, and obviously we're just barely hooked up to anything right now. But so in a tournament situation, it's gonna to tell me that I can run 
all my graphs, all my live wells, anything I need to run for X amount of hours. And I'm gonna know, hey, I've got an eight hour tournament and I've got 42 hours of runtime. I'm golden, I don't have to worry about anything. But in the event something happened and charge my batteries, the power went out at the hotel I'm staying at, whatever, I can look down and say, okay, I still have enough juice. Or hey, guys, we don't, we need to like, we need to like figure out what to do or cut back some of the stuff. Maybe only one run, one live well, you know. And again, trolling motor wise, it's the same thing. So I'm gonna tell you right now, this stuff is awesome, okay? Um, it's all I run. It's, it's amazing, it, the peace of mind. I've, I, the last two years now, with the power pole charge, with the quality of the batteries, like worrying about batteries anymore, is just, just like, it's not even part of my thinking anymore. But now again, with the NEMA 2000, information is key. It's even a little bit more peace of mind. So check out Lithium Pros, guys. It's, uh, it's awesome stuff. All right, so the guys at Bob Machine Shop, they're always coming up with really cool, little innovative ideas. You know, they've got a double plate for dual engines. They've got a single plate, obviously, but they have what we call, what well, they're calling it, a split plate. Now, you ask, what is a split plate? A split plate is, this is what's so cool. That means now, for all of you guys that run a single engine bay boat, that you're like, man, I really wish this thing had enough room to put two engines on the back of it. Your transom's a little too small, a little too tight. You're really, the boat's made for a single engine application. You can take a single engine application boat now and put the split plate on there, which gives you now plenty of room to mount dual motors. So that kind of changes the whole game. I don't know if I'll put one of these, I might put one of these on my bass boat. How awesome would that be, huh? Do like dual engines on my bass boat? But all seriousness, guys, you have a bay boat, you've always wanted a dual engine application, you're gonna run offshore quite a bit. You know, it's always good to have two motors. Get the split plate by Bob's Machine Shop, put your two motors on the back of your bay boat, good to go. All right guys, the Startron brand, they've come out with a brand new product that's called Stabilizer Plus. You're asking yourself like, what is Stabilizer Plus? How's it different from Startron? Startron is my everyday go-to that I use for all my ethanol issues that we're dealing with, keeping all your fuel and your fuel lines all great, keeping your engine running smooth. Stabilizer Plus, this is fuel for fuel storage, okay? So if you're gonna put your boat up for the winter, you're gonna put your lawnmower up, things like that, you're gonna wanna put the Stabilizer Plus in your tank, and that's gonna help protect against rusting. It's gonna help your fuel be stabilized. So the next time you start your engine up, everything's gonna start up just fine. So guys, check this out. It has double action enzymes and corrosion inhibitors, which is great. And uh, you can store your stuff up to two years by putting this bottle in your tank. Check it out, brand new stuff from Startron. All right, so looking at this wall here, this is pretty cool stuff. Laser Sharp has decided to make kits, which is nice. Kind of takes the guesswork out of it. So you've got a catfish kit, you've got a bass kit like we talked about earlier, you got a finesse kit, but they also have a Tokyo rig kit, which is kind of a new hot technique right now. Uh, the Tokyo rig, you can build it yourself, which is awesome, has different size weights that you can use for different applications, like for the thicker grass or open water, you can go lighter. So guys, this is a Tokyo rig, but we're calling it the TKO rig, which is Eagle Claws version of the Tokyo rig. Really cool, you can kind of set up the way you want. Check it out, pretty cool little technique. Look at this thing, guys. LBS 62, okay? XR, XR, I think it means extra range. Now you're saying to yourself, okay, well, what does that mean? Well, this means in salt water, this thing will shoot forward 350 feet and in fresh water, 500 feet. So that is like, unlocks a whole other world, right? But this is really good for deep water. So if you live on a fishery that you're gonna be in shallow water and deep water, but mostly shallow water, this probably isn't gonna be for you. You're gonna want the standard LVS 34 plus, which is what I have on my boat. But if you live on the Great Lakes and you're fishing offshore all the time, or you're saltwater angler and you're trying to like introduce the live scope into the saltwater game, this right here would be the deal. It's obviously a much bigger transducer, much more powerful, but pretty cool that they're, they've stepped a the game up with the XR version of this thing right here. So I, I actually am gonna probably have one of these and I'll probably rotate it back and forth between some of my shallow and real deep water fisheries. I see a need for this on some of the tournaments that we fish. All right guys, ICAST 2022, pretty cool stuff to get a chance to make it next year, check it out. They actually do some uh, Friday and Thursday guests so you can actually come and enjoy iCast yourself. So pretty cool stuff, excited about some of these things and thank you for just spending 10, 15 minutes with me today, guys. And we will see you soon. We've got more videos coming down the pipe. Thanks for subscribing 
as always, we'll see you. Boom!